Hello everyone, welcome again to Breakbeat Torture number 202 this one. Uh, we are going to talk DSP today, which are the few FX uh, and VST plugins that I use to ready for making weird, weird out drums. Today we are going to use this Breakbeat. Sort of my favorite for jungle. First of all, time stretch. I'm using most of the time the Deep Blue stretch, which is just the time stretch part of the Deep Blue glitch. And this is a plugin that you really need to automate. It's really a pain in the ass to play with the mouse. So let's go to the automation page. Trigger is what set the time stretch on. So this is what we want to automate. I will be doing it on a few snares during this pattern. So here you can I can show you one of my classic trick is that I usually always let pass the attack of every snare instead of sticking to the grid uh, because this lets a little bit of snap pass through because if you uh, start it somewhere where there is almost no sounds the effect will not be as direct then you can play with the ratio which is how long the time stretch will be and the multiplier which is just multiplying the ratio get you to almost stutter territory and of course the grain size the fact you can automate the grain size makes you do some funky bouncing ball style ethics The longer is the part of audio you set the trigger on, the longer it will stay into time stretch mode, which is fun sometimes. also makes a very weird effect when you put the grain size to the minimum which I really like on a few snares occasionally I love to do this especially where we copy this part this snare Now let's go to the tape stop. Okay, tape stop. This is the same thing, same uh, developer. It comes from the blue glitch, but only the tape stop. Quite uh, easy to understand. You choose when you want to stop. And how long it takes to stop. I like to use it on drills. So if I take this snare, put it here, I will just select this little bit of audio. And one stuff I haven't showed you the other day is that when you want to do this all along, instead of doing it, I don't know how many times, you do it like four and then uh, duplicate the four, which lets you do the same thing, but way faster. 
featuring Tape Stop This. Now, sometimes you can get some funky results by uh, making weird automation with the slowdown effects. Okay, so now let's talk about delays. I use a lot of different ones, but for drums, one of my favorite is the instant delay from Unfiltered Audio. I made myself a stupid uh, preset called the driller which automates the feedback and the mix at the same time with just one knob so i just have to automate this to get those two parameters going up at the same time i will add the effect on a few snares like usual Remix this pattern a little bit, uh, changing a few things around so, so you can hear more easily what I'm going to do with the delays. From there, it's with the delay time that we are going to play the most using the automation. Using its filter and drive can change the sound a little bit. It's very really nasty quickly when you use the resonance, but it's fun sometimes. Jitter makes it more stereo, but even buggy stereo. I usually, I usually use it just a little bit for this. Okay, so our next one is a Max for Live device called Glideverb. Thanks to DJ Producer to make me discover this one. I use it for uh, two things. When I want to end a part, usually by drowning it to reverb. So what I do is I put the input gain and wet sound of the reverb at minimum. Otherwise, it will be like sound like this. It's a very long reverb. So anyway, no input gain, no wet. Basically, nothing happens. What I do is to automate the input gain, usually just sending at max the beginning of a snare or anything else, and then automate the wet to either make big washes of reverb like this, loud that stops like this or sometime that I cut after that like this okay I love it as well for pumping sort of like a aspiration effect
in combination with uh, more uh, glitchy edits, like uh, very, very fast drills, it makes some very interesting texture. I'll show you now. Okay, so input just the part with the drill and then we can automate the wet volume to shape the reverberated sound. finish this uh, well there is others but maybe I'll go through in uh, other videos but th th they are really the main uh, stuff that I use so you might have noticed that we are in live 11 beta it's because there's a, one of my new favorite inside this which is the let me find it pitch and modulation spectral resonates oh, is it this one it's this one the spectral time So you may think it sounds like a bit of a classic delay, but let me first make it a little bit shorter and with lots of feedback. So it has an input send. I love that because you can just send whatever bits of audio you want without using another FX send so it stays on the same tracks which makes it way easier to mix at least in the way I work. But what I prefer with this is this, the freezer. Sounds like shit when you do it manually, but when you activate it with the onset retrigger thing, you can. Uh, it, it, it's basically triggered by the envelope of the sound. You need to have the sound go fully into it. There's some fun to be had with this. Especially if you remove the rolly part. That's what I'm talking about. It's perfect to make uh, samples to use later on. I love this thing. 
so weird. Okay. You can probably do the same thing with different effects, just try using the same concepts with delays or time stretch that you have at hand. Okay, see you next week.